Hi Diego, so what you see right now, it's a, it's a strange website. I don't really go there every day, but right now there is something very off about uh, the coronavirus. Uh, the Chinese government is not revealing uh, the whole truth. We say it's uh, not transparent. And there is a guy, I forgot his name, it's like, uh, I forgot his name. Um, somewhere uh guo miles guo uh he's a billion, uh, billionaire he he lives i think in america right now and he said actually i don't know if he's exaggerating because also uh, chinese can be a bit emotional this level um he said that the crematorium are working 20 uh, 24 7. um they are they are burning bodies every day around 1,200 bodies. So I don't know if it's really true, but the government is also not telling the truth. So we have like two extreme scenarios, but it seems like there are more and more people who are affected uh, or infected by the, the virus. What they are doing right now, <clears throat> it's for you to understand the, the, the news. There is a video somewhere about um, the government is going to different buildings <clears throat> in Wuhan and Beijing and also they ask the people to, to stay home and they they put locks on uh, on the on their doors. So you live in an apartment, imagine uh, the government is putting a, a lock uh, on your door. You don't have access to a doctor, you don't have access to uh, medical supplies, uh, medicine, uh, treatment and well you're pretty much left to die so you have kids you have whole families like that and uh yeah and it's somewhere i forgot where it is but there is a video about that and you can check uh this guy yeah it's, it's here now chaining families inside their home on homes so it's a video, so it cannot really lie, it cannot really make that up. Like to make something up is to invent something, to create something, to you can you can make a story up. Okay. You just made that up. It's like you just invented this story. Okay. It's from uh, Twitter. So it's interesting to be on different sh social media and to check what's going on. So it's here. And uh the sound is off, but so the guy is gonna pretty much in two minutes is gonna say, "Well, don't worry, you have a, a phone number in case of an emergency. Uh, they may not have to come." Um, <clears throat> this is stupid because you have one phone number, one emergency number, and you cannot really. I mean, imagine the whole building is has an emergency, so they're not gonna come like that. But anyway. So you can check the website, it's called rents.com, R-E-N-S-E.com, okay? And uh, so now, back to the phrasal verbs. I, I want to share this kind of stuff because I have a lot of Chinese students. Right now, I have two, I used to have them at uh, 5 a.m. and 5.30 uh, a.m. Um, they took a break during the festival, the spring festival, which is like a Chinese New Year. And uh, and December 17th, this is when the uh, coronavirus started to, uh, to break, to break out. And uh, so they, I didn't have any news from them. So I don't know what's going on. One, one student works at uh, the Beijing hospital in the pulmonary uh, section so she may have a lot of a lot of work because this virus um can affect also the lungs and she's working in this section so i mean she she's a specialist in she's a lung specialist um and uh so she she may have a lot of work but still uh, i hope she's fine because yeah it's a bit sad so we started the first section. That doesn't mean all those guys are important. We can just be selective. Fall down. Okay. Um, it is okay, this book, but this, they, they are very, 
they are very limited to the section they, they talk about. Like they are saying, okay, basic actions. But if I say to run into, you can run into a place, means you enter, of course, okay, but you can run into an, a, a person, <clears throat> okay? So I think I may use something else. Let me just check. Um, so there are many, many, many phrasal verb uh, books. Many of them are not good. So there is one. I don't know if it's going to be very useful. It's like... It's like um, phrasal verbs in context. So I have another one like that. Drawings are very bad, but I think it would be good. Okay, I don't think they are talking about everything. Okay, but uh, it can be interesting, and I think we, we should experiment. I don't know too much this book. I, I I used to to have another one. It's like phrasal verbs in context. It was a two-volume book, but I cannot find it anymore. So, in a cold November evening, many years ago, Angus Macpherson, chief guard at the Newtown prison, yawned oh, and closed his eyes. Angus had had... I think it would be good, actually, because it's going to give you also uh, a real context concerning dialogues and interactions with people and description as well. Um, a long and tiring day and now, as a clock struck 11, the three platefuls of spaghetti bolognese, it's like a tomato salsa, he'd enjoyed at dinner were pulling him toward the deepest of deep sleeps. Wow, that's a lot of pasta, especially before going to sleep. I'll just have a little nap all the cells are locked, and everything's quiet. I'm sure nobody will mind if I nod off for a while. Nod off is not completely sleeping. Well, this is a bit sleeping, but lightly sleeping. Hangus, Hangus stretched out on the wooden bench and tried to relax, but for some reason he couldn't get up to sleep. Then he had an idea. I know what the, what the trouble is. It's this belt of mine. It's much too tight. He rolled over, took off the belt, and dropped it onto the floor. Ah, oh, that's going to be good. I think it's going to be great. So let me zoom in because even with my glasses, I cannot see. A few minutes later, the stone corridors echoed to Angus Macpherson's unmistakable snore. So snoring. In the darkness of cell 269, Frederick Caruthers, a bank manager who had lent himself $250,000, was planning his escape. If I could get the keys off Macpherson's belt, I could slip out through the side door, run across the yard, jump over the prison wall, and be back home for breakfast. <clears throat> but how do I do it? Just then, he caught sight of Angus' belt lying on the floor. The keys, he's just dropped. He has just dropped the belt with the keys. This is too good to be true. He tiptoed, you know, he was walking on his, on his toes to the front of the cells and looked around. There was no one about. He took a deep breath. He then shortly and uh, softly and slowly, he stretched out his hand, picked up the belt, and lifted up, lifted back through the bars. Well, this is great because you have a great context, and I think it's, uh, yeah, I think it's gonna work better. So here, complete the following sentences using one of the words below: breakfast, bars, floor, wall, keys, cell. Belt is done. Uh, to breathe, door, yard. He rolled over to cause the belt and dropped it onto the floor. If I could get the keys off Macpherson's belt, I could slip out through the side bars, I guess is what he said. 
through the bars, side bars, I guess. Um, round across, so we said that bars, floor, there's a side wall, I guess. Run across. Because he's going to be jump over the prison yard. Ah, run across the cell, the side cell. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of stuff here. And be back home for breakfast. He tiptoed to the front of the cell and looked around. There was no one about. He took a deep breath. So it's to breathe and the breath. Uh, for the noun, picked up the belt and lifted back through the lifted up back through the wall. Okay, so through the bars, yeah, because he's trying to, yeah, he has his arms through the bars, not the wall. So anyway, that can be good. Yeah, that can be good. I'm just checking if it's really uh, relevant. That is the most important because we need to work on that. So complete the following sentences using one of the prepositions below. Off, about, out, around, up, across, over, over, to. So we have two over. For some reason, he couldn't get off to sleep. So he couldn't fall asleep in a sense. Okay. So we're going to work on that. We're going to try to spend a lot of time repeating the same in order for you to remember. A nap is a, so a short, light sleep to not have to fall asleep gradually. It's like, you know, when people are, their head is bending to the forward and they're just like slowly, slowly falling asleep, but in the beginning, it's, it's a very light sleep. When talking about clothes to take off, you can take off your clothes, you can take off your shoes. Uh, many Americans, since in, um, in small communities, they can tell you to take off your shoes before you enter the, their house. Take off is the opposite of Put on, put on your shoes, put your shoes on, put your, your, your jacket on. Angus took off the belt and dropped it onto the floor. She put on her coat. Two common meaning of sleep are, ah, oh, this is a great book. Okay. To move quickly and secretly, trying not to be seen. I could sleep out through the side door, but whenever my father's back was turned, I would slip out of the house and go and meet Gerald secretly. And to fall or nearly fall, he slipped on a banana skin and sprained her ankle. Is to hurt your ankle. Many non-native speakers will, will simplify their vocabulary, but as long as it's understood, it's very, if it's a good, uh, it's a good start. So anyway, to, to sprain your ankle, Notice the difference between to jump over, to jump onto, and to jump off. I could slip out through the side door, run across the yard, jump over the prison wall, and be back home for breakfast. And Frederick had jumped onto a train that was slowly down in front of a set of signals, run down the corridor to avoid the ticket collector, and then jump off again as a train pulled into a station. There was no one about. Nobody was there. Lady Prescott got out of the car and looked around. There was no one else about. Remember to get out of the car, but to get off the or get off the train, get off the bus, get off the metro, the subway. Frederick turned his face and looked out at Crawford Street. There were now lots of people about. It was half past three, and the local school had just broken up for the day. Look around, generally has the idea of looking on all sides, while to look round suggests that a person turns to look at something they couldn't see before. Round can also be informal word for around. I don't like round, personally. Chapter 2, we continue the story, uh, 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 drama, so it's going to be useful. We'll work on that. And uh, let's try to see if we can also use, you know, that's very descriptive, very, very practical. So it's going to be useful if you have to, to write some stuff, to describe some stuff, okay? It's not informal. It's a very practical, you some very practical verbs to uh, describe very specifically some actions. Well, I'll see you on Thursday. We focus on this, not the other book, because the other book is a bit annoying, to be honest. Okay. I'll see you later. I'll see you on Thursday.